ไล่ไปเดวิดจ้าชาวเซกอนคนเซติอาจีเซกอบวยมาတော့อะเปียตั้งก็ซ้อบาวอ่ะตองกะเลกะไลกะဖြစ်ပါတယ်သူอ่
Bokan and Kamia, Mik and Jacob. The swing round number one, Joey. Saba U, the aggressor with the forward pressure. But a lot of big head kicks from Tway Fit Win Line. Oh, with the teep knockdown. But Sean, that's always a tough one to call. Is is you don't know if the judges are gonna reward the forward pressure of Sabahu or of the aggressiveness and pinpoint accuracy of win line. I gave that round to win line. I loved his left head kick, I loved his right jab, his ability with that elbow. But it was Sabahu coming forward that whole round. We go back a moment ago, previous striking sequence. Not an official knockdown off of the teep and then the slip to follow. Still no knockdowns in this fight. They kick not getting through. Thought that win line though, opening up with his striking and always throwing in combination. Step in knee. So Ba'u steps in to initiate the clinch knee to the body and there's the turn. The takedown in the dump. Both fighters pushing a high, heavy pace, heavy pressure. And I love that left knee from Win Line. He's trying to time Sabahu coming in and catch him on the chin or in the solar plexus. With it, Win Line trying to step in with the cross knee. Front teeth, big right hand from Wu. He very clearly wants to take this fight to the inside. Another big head kick. Even when they're not landing Joey, they're taking U off of his line. Shots like that will definitely keep you honest. Keep you on your toes, keep your defense high. And as sharp as they are, as fast as wind lines throwing them, I'd love to see just a more calculated setup. I'd love to see him to get Sabahu to move his right hand, to drop his right hand. That way when he fires that left shin, he's firing it straight to the chin and not to the arm, not to the block. There's a good body kick from Tway Fit Win Line. And again, Sabahu back to the inside. We're doing a good job of reading those head kicks coming in from Win Line. They continue to be thrown. Good left hand, that landed flush on the chin. Way fit win line. Why no, Kim here? I'm going to go out to him, I'm going Indication to both fighters, this is round number three, and there is the bell. Sporting touch of hands and back to work for both men. Back to work with the straight punches and the head kick for Tway Fit Win Line. Who trying to land the elbow from the clinch. The separation. Joey Sabahu working to the inside effectively, but not landing effectively this far on the inside. You no, know, and when he gets on the inside, I'm not seeing a lot of action on the inside. He's effective. That's the first headbutt I've actually seen from him. But once he gets inside there, that's his opportunity to score. Let's see some headbutts. Let's see some elbows. Let's see some knees in there. Twin line doing a great job of, excuse me, win line doing a great job of controlling that distance with his jab cross straight down the pipe, that left high kick. So Sabahu has had to work his way inside, but just like right here, he's not scoring when he gets there. Effective in fighting there for Mu that time, lands the knee after the elbow strike. Now the clean separation. Like touch of blood on the face of Sabahu. Now the medical timeout. The 
The primary consideration is always towards safety of the fighters and World Left Weight Championship. Reset of the mouthpiece, time in. Nice, left elbow followed by the left head kick by Winline, and Winline pointing at something on Sawab. But I don't know what it was. Get a medical timeout, a lot of blood now on the face of Sawbau. Way fit Winline playing to the crowd. Covered in blood, but that is all Sawbau's blood. We resume round number three. We're continuing the walk forward on the straight line, lands the elbow. A smile after that knee on the face of wind line. You see the tape on the forehead of Wu, trying to stem the flow of blood from that cut. And another left elbow from wind line. Straight down the pipe, timing Sabau as he closes that distance. This is the fourth weapon in the arsenal of win line that he's introduced. First, we saw the left head kick, then the jab and the cross. Now it's the left elbow. Win line doing a great job of putting all his tools on the table and really showcasing his martial mastery. Look at that cut on the left forehead of Sabau. That is a deep gash. That medical take no match for the flow of blood. And that was the left high kick, the opportunity for win line. You saw him step off. You saw the right hand drop of Sabau, and win line looked, he looked for a second like he was gonna throw it, and he hesitated. But that's that opportunity he needs to pay attention for. We'll see if Tway fit when line really tries to target the cut. Now targeting the head, big punches. And again, Ooh acknowledges, eats the elbow and another elbow strike. Really heating up now. Win line systematically picking apart his opponent. Been a high quality, high level nine minutes thus far. A maximum of six minutes remain. Sabah U versus Tue Fit Win Line. Two outstanding fighters from here in Myanmar. That is a nasty gash. Joey Zaval from cut to gash on the forehead of Sabah U. And Win Line has been targeting that. He's been picking away at it. Every punch, every elbow thrown has been placed precisely on that cut with the intention of opening it up, furthering the damage done to it. And Sean, I'll tell you what, in this fight card right now, these are two of the most skilled left wee fighters we have seen this whole card, not just with their techniques, but their heart. A back and forth battle, wind line controlling the action, but Sabau with the right head kick, the flying knee, showing that he's still in this fight, that he still has the tools to end this at any minute. One of Ooh's best striking sequences of the bout. Turning up the temperature of Sabau here in round number four. The major issue on the cut is the flow of blood mixed with that grease, that Vaseline and the sweat. Going not just into the left eye, but the right eye wreaking havoc on Sabau's vision. Joey, as a former professional fighter yourself, you know the number one concern when a fighter is cut is the loss of vision because of the blood. Sean, you touched on it, coupling the Vaseline with the blood and the sweat. It makes for such a burning, potent liquid that when it leaks in your eyes, it doesn't just blind you, it's painful. It prevents you not just from seeing, but from concentrating, because not only are you blinded, but you're in agonizing pain. 65 seconds remaining round number four. 
And the thing I gotta wonder with this fight, just like the hang fight earlier, is where was this Sabau in the previous three rounds? He's pressing the action. He's landing his shots. He's defending well. If this fighter would have showed up in round one, the first three rounds would have been a lot more competitive. With it, win line slowing down in the fourth round. Sabau definitely speeding up. Counter left hand from Win Line, who walking through it back to the inside. Exhale from Wu, coming forward. Full stalking mode now. Nothing on that counter left hand from Tway Thit Win Line. All forward pressure coming from Saba U here in the fourth round. Good right hand. And back to the inside once more in the clinch. Quick separation. See the fighters talking to each other on the inside. A kick not getting through from twice that win line. We are headed to the fifth and final round. To the fifth and final round we go. Saba Ujoy picking up right where he left off in round number four with heavy pressure moving forward. And as fast and accurate as the left rear head kick of win line has been, Saba U showcasing the same speed and accuracy with his right head kick. He's just doing it four rounds too late. And there it is again. You see how fast he whips that thing up there. Where was that kick in round one, Sabau? See all of the grease on that gash, left side of Sabau's forehead. Right now, that stopped the flow of blood. Also, Twayfit win line really did not land significant strikes to that cut in round four. Good on the counter strike there from Twayfit win line. More indicative of what he was doing in the early stages of this fight. On the separation, restart back to the center of the ring is where Tway Thit Win Line pulls this fight. There's a nice professional move. Then the push off. Still U coming forward. Hands high and tight. Saw Ba U walking down Tway Thit Win Line. Very defensive looking clinch there, Joey, from Winline. Winline choosing his strikes, placing the kick, placing the knee, and then tying up to prevent any counters from Sabau. Right in the left elbow, neither getting through. A look of determination on the face of Sabau. Nothing on that knee. But Winline really playing the role of the Matador right now. Moving back, drawing in Sabau as Sabau plants his feet to fire. Winline gets off first, moves or ties up Sabu, preventing him from counter striking. Get a medical timeout. Treatment from the ringside physician for that cut. Joey, it will be interesting to see how both fighters now react after this medical timeout. If both will really try to turn up the volume. On my scorecard, Sabau needs a knockout to win this fight. Or a knockdown to make it a draw. I had three rounds to one in favor of win line. That's rule the slip. No knockdowns in this fight. Literally every time the Tway Fit win line throws the head kick, Sabau looks to be angry. Nods and then moves forward with aggression, now moving forward in the clinch. Nice jumping right leg side kick to the face of Sabau. Then the rear head kick followed by the elbow. That was a clever combination. Win line trying to put an exclamation point at the end of this round. Talked about the blood not really flowing earlier in round five. It's really flowing now out of that gash. 
Elbow, then the left hand from Winline. Winline seems to be fighting more effectively since the medical timeout. And that is the end of a really high energy, high octane light middleweight bout going all five rounds. Great respect in sportsmanship, and the unanimous decision goes to Tway Fit Win Line. Joy just simply too much for Sabah U in the first three rounds. Three rounds and the fifth round, Sean. The fifth round I had to give to him as well. Sabah U came out aggressive, but it was Win Line putting his stamp on this fight. The jumping side kick followed by the head kick and the elbow. An excellent display of left we put on by Win Lai tonight.